Here's a quick video to show you how to get last month's records from a database. If you're writing a reporting application, then this is a very useful function to write. I'll start by showing you how to do this in SQL Server. Later in the video, I'll show the equivalent for MySQL. So in this example, I'm looking at the Find a Channel Search Queries table. It logs search queries, so we want to find last month's searches. So we can do this using a combination of date part and date add. So in the table, the column with the date is called search date. So date part m, comma, search date will return just the month. So date add we use with the following arguments, m for month, minus one to get the previous month, and get date, which is the current date. So that will return the previous month, and then we simply use date part to find just the month of this date. So let's see if it works. And it's currently March, so we just appear to have February's records, so it's definitely worked. It might not be immediately obvious, but there is something fatally wrong with this query. So we are winding back the month, but we also need to take the year into account. It's okay in this database because my website is only a year old, but if your data is a lot older, then we need to take year into account as well. Otherwise, this query just returns all of February's results, regardless of the year. So to improve the script, we just add a clause for year below it. Note that we still use date add with month, but this time we want the date part of year, which you can use YY for. So the results in this database are actually the same, but next year when I get even more data in it, then it will only return the previous months. How can we do the same in MySQL or MariaDB? I've managed to rewrite the query for MySQL or MariaDB as I'm using here. So instead of using date part, we have to use month or year to get the part of a date. Instead of get date, we have to use now. Date add has an underscore in it and the parameters are a different way around. Let's see if it works. So click on go and we have a lot of results. This is a much bigger database, so I have a lot more data and we'll check the date. So the first record was from the 1st of February. As I said, it's now March. And we'll go to the last record, and that's the 28th of February. I'll put these queries in the description below. If you have any other SQL questions, then please do drop a comment below and I'll try and answer them. Thanks for watching.